Of course, I'm here with the cutest boy in the whole wide world, Mr. Angara. We got some fist bumps. Oh yeah, he knows I was hiding some grapes behind him. <laughs> Today, I actually wanted to talk about water. Do you know the grapes are 82% water? Literally, every living thing on this planet needs water in order to survive. You guys probably know that though, right? Wherever there's water, there's life. If there's no water, there's no life. We need it, it's absolutely amazing. Some of us like it more than others. I love water. I grew up swimming in rivers. Well, they called it a river, the Weber River. Now that I moved out east, I know that uh, there are real rivers out here. <laughs> so the Weber River actually was really tiny. It, I don't even know. You can walk across it really easily. The river that you see bubbles and I swimming in all the time. When I first drove up to that river, I was like, is that, is that a lake? And they're like, no, it's a river. And I'm like, N but it's so big. <laughs> so it's actually bigger than the lake that I used to windsurf in. So the lake that I windsurfed in was called Lake Rush. And the reason I windsurfed there and tried to kite surf was because it was so small, there were no boats because sometimes boats are not paying attention and it can be very, very dangerous if that boat gets too close to you. And also I was really bad at it, like the worst. So I needed to be somewhere where I wasn't gonna run into a boat and a boat wasn't gonna run into me. Anyway, let's go find a body of water. So we found a body of water, but there's a lot of noise going on over there. I forgot to tell you, these are called gumdrops. Have you guys tried gumdrops yet? So they're from Grapery. I don't know if you guys have tried Grapery yet. They're the ones who make the cotton candy grapes. I have not gotten a grape from them that I did not absolutely adore, but I like grapes. It's nature's candy. It's portable, it's hydrating, it's healthy. What more could you ask for? Mmm, that's so good. <laughs> Angara eats grapes every day and he is looking for them. He thinks grapes are number one. And if you guys watch this channel, maybe you know, Vali also thinks grapes are number one. Sugriva, so he's way more into mangoes. Baby Tara, watermelon. Water, see? Everyone likes water. Actually, I will occasionally try to give Angata treats like Gatorade. It's very, very rare, but he picks water over Gatorade every day. He loves water. He drinks tons of water. He stays hydrated. <laughs> he reminds me to stay hydrated. That's the most important thing because I need to stay hydrated. So you guys probably noticed I got a band-aid under my eye. Uh, I did have a little spot taken from there today. So there's actually stitches under there. I have talked about this before. I do put sunscreen on Angata. Sometimes it's easier to remember to take care of other people than it is to take care of yourself. So guys, wear sunscreen. So they took a little piece out. They're gonna send it off and see. There is cancer in my family, so who knows? But uh, I think the most important thing is to stay positive and to wear your sunscreen. Have you guys ever heard of the song, Everyone's Free to Wear Sunscreen? Look it up, it's a really good song. It's actually one of my favorites. <laughs> Ready one more, you done? So, of course, I'm gonna immediately notice the band-aid. Here, eat the last one. Ooh, yummy. The reason he noticed it is because social grooming is a huge part of chimpanzee culture. Angara wants me to just groom him every night before bed. And if I like take my hand away to change the channel or something, he'll grab my hand and be like, no, no, groom. So social grooming is a huge part of our lives too, right? Especially I remember growing up and being at my friend's house, doing hair and nails. So it's just a way to bond. And chimpanzees are seriously into bonding making sure that their friendships oh, are there to protect each other. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about today too, is for Halloween, I am gonna dress up to be a water sprite. And I was thinking chimpanzees are kind of like forest sprites or spirits, right? A chimpanzee's job in the wild is to actually spread seeds. They fertilize the seeds as well because you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, so that happens. There are certain kinds of trees that absolutely would not exist without the help of chimpanzees. You guys saw my other video, No Monkeys, No Chocolate, right? That's crazy, literally. There's no chocolate unless the forest animals take care of the trees. We need them. We need the forest animals. We need clean water. We need to take care of our environment. 
<laughs> You're crazy. I figured since he is kind of already a water or forest sprite that I should teach him to walk on water. I don't know if it's gonna work out or not, but we can't go in there today. I'm gonna show you why. Cause there's another water creature who has decided to make it their home today. Shh. Actually, we don't have to be quiet, but it's fine. So part of a water sprite or forest sprite's job is to protect the environment, right? So this dude's in here today. He potentially could be a little protective of this area. So he is actually gonna probably leave sometime tonight. We'll close the gate. He doesn't actually need to be in this area. He's in here because this pool is heated. Um, that's Great White, if you guys are new to my channel. He's about six feet long. He is just our local gator. I don't know, he's my friend. I like him a lot, I think he's great. Um, like I said, we'll just leave him alone today, let him have his little fun, um, and we will try to teach Angara to walk on water on Friday. So both water sprites, um, which are kind of a fairy, and chimpanzees are very joyful, excitable, fun. So again, I think, you know, kind of, kind of chimpanzee is a water sprite. And of course, if threatened, water sprites can be protective of their areas, protective of their oh, lives. Catch. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, the more I think about it, the more I think that a chimpanzee is kind of a, a water or a forest sprite. So in general, most people think of fairies as good. I don't know if you guys saw my video earlier, we did a couple months ago about how we used to cook bread and give it to the fairies. We called her the good fairy. So most of the time, all the fairies are good, but there is a bad fairy in Africa. And I bought a book about him because I was just, I was just kind of interested. I asked some of the tribes people while I was in Africa about him and they did not want to talk about it. But his name is the Tokalash and he is, <gasps> He thought about it. He thought about going full chimpanzee song. We'll catch it one day. Actually, I do have it. We could add it. Yeah. You wanna add that video? Oh. <laughs> the water sprite in Africa that I'm referring to is called the Tokolosh. And basically he is only bad. I've looked for a while. I've tried to find anyone saying anything good about him. If I'm wrong, add it to the comments. But the Tokolosh is kind of like responsible for every bad thing that happens. He is probably responsible for cancer. <laughs> I didn't Google that, but I'm just assuming. Anything that's really bad that happens that is unexplained, that is the Tokolosh's fault. Um, I do hope that at some point I'll be able to find that he is a good guy. <laughs> I guess right now he's not, he's not a good guy. He's kind of an ugly dude. So in a lot of mythologies about uh, water sprites, they're actually beautiful beings. Like Angana. Beautiful, yeah. So I guess uh, it's just like everything. There's good, there's bad, there's, there's oh, pretty, good job. there's ugly. Good job, Angana. So the Tokolosh is kind of ugly. Oh Do we want to close this behind us? Uh. Yeah, uh -huh. Yep, that's how you do it. Uh. All right, come on. So I have had... <laughs> Good boy. We got a little bit. We got a little bit there. We have had a couple people ask what Angad is going to be for Halloween. He doesn't have to dress up. I already figured it out. He's a forest sprite. So he's already dressed. I will be dressed up when I try to teach him how to walk on water. Um, we'll see, maybe I'll just have to walk on water with him on my back. Anyway, we'll definitely add the photo in our next video so you can see it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you haven't, why not? Like, subscribe, comment, and remember, stay wild.